In this video, we'll write the Lewis structure for CH4. This is methane. We'll also look at the molecular geometry and bond angles. So when we write the Lewis structure for a compound like methane here, the first thing we do, we find the number of valence electrons. We can use the periodic table to help us with that. So the periodic table here, each group has a number of valence electrons listed at the top. Group one, all of these have one valence electron. Group two, these have two. Skip the transition metals, three, and so on. Carbon, that's in group 14, sometimes called 4A. That has four valence electrons. Hydrogen, that's in group one, so it has one valence electron. Multiply that by four, since we have four hydrogen atoms, eight total valence electrons for the CH4 Lewis structure. For our Lewis diagram, we're going to put the least electronegative element at the center. And remember, hydrogen, that's always going to go on the outside. So we've got to put carbon in the center, and then we have four hydrogens. We'll put that around the carbon. Next, we'll put two electrons, a pair of electrons, between atoms. And that's going to form our chemical bond here. So we'll put two electrons between each hydrogen and then that carbon there. And this forms the bond. This is our chemical bond. So far, we've used six. We have a total of eight valence electrons for CH4. We put the last two there. And we have eight valence electrons. We've used our valence electrons in our Lewis structure. The carbon, that has eight, so it has an octet. And each hydrogen has two. Hydrogen only needs two valence electrons to have a full outer shell. So this is the Lewis structure for CH4, methane. Let's take a look at the molecular geometry for methane. Here in two dimensions, we see they're spread out. But let's look at it in three dimensions. So the central atom, that's the carbon. We'll add four hydrogen atoms, one, two, and you see they spread out, three and four. When we do that, we end up with what's called a tetrahedral molecular geometry. Each hydrogen atom is as far away as it can be from the others. The bond angles should be 109.5 degrees. So the molecular geometry for CH4, tetrahedral. Let's go back to our Lewis structure. So that's the Lewis structure for CH4. Sometimes you'll see the bonds here replaced with lines. Each line represents a pair of electrons. We also note that the molecular geometry is tetrahedral with bond angles 109.5 degrees. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.